जय हो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रत्नाकर सूर्यवंशी फ्रॉम एस के पब्लिक स्कूल टिल द लास्ट क्लास इन द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन इन द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन वॉट वी हैव लर्न वी हैव लर्न ऑलरेडी द फोर्थ कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस दैट इज डिड वेमेन हैव अ रेवोल्यूशन डिड वेमेन हैव अ रेवोल्यूशन अबाउट दिस पॉइंट ऑलरेडी वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट क्लास यस वेमेन हैड अ रेवोल्यूशन women actively participated in the changes in the movements on the events which brought important changes in the french society in all those events women actively participated but during the time of jacobins what happened as i told you women political clubs were banned women activities were also banned and reformers most important women reformers were jailed and you were executed so about this all we have already learned and even women while men were away being the part of war women used to take care of their family their children and women with this all women used to work as laborers in the factories as well as especially the third estate women they even used to take care of their family like fetching water cooking food taking care of the children or the elders etc this was all done only the women of nobility or noble class or noble families had access to education and access to jobs good education they had right so about these all the things we have already learned so today we are going to learn the another topic in the french revolution another mean this is the fifth concept in the French Revolution. That is the abolition of slavery. Which was the abolition, the abolition of which one? The abolition of slavery. So about this we will learn today. Abolition of slavery. So about this we will learn in the today's class. See here only is it when slavery was abolished in. France. See, actually, slave trade was began in 17th century. When it was began, slave trade, slave trade, it began in the 17th century. In the 17th century, slave trade. In the 17th century, slave trade was began in the Europe continent, especially. See that one of the most important. one of the most important revolutionary social reforms of the jacobin regime was the abolition of slavery in the french colonies see important point here jacobin government or jacobins regime its main jacobins jacobin regime's important revolutionary reform was the abolition of slavery i mean jacobin regime during the time of the rule of robespierre robespierre banned the abolition of the slavery in french colonies see french had colonies french had its own colonies in caribbean islands it had its own colonies in caribbean islands for example west indies is also an island in the caribbean islands so the french had colonies in the caribbean islands and which were those important caribbean islands which were controlled by french which were those say first one martinique just we will say those say martinique was it as well as as well as a saint domingo was it as well as guadeloupe as well as guadeloupe so these were as well as one more as i told you that which one san domingo san domingo so these were the three martinique guadeloupe and san domingo these were the three important caribbean islands which were controlled by french and see these three islands these three islands were the important suppliers of commodities such as tobacco tobacco sugar as well as coffee and even 
एवन इंडिगो विच वन इंडिगो सो दीज ऑल द कमोडिटीज वर प्रोड्यूस इन दीज थ्री कैरेबियन आइलैंड so that's why we can consider here that these three caribbean islands were the important suppliers of the commodities like or such as tobacco sugar it may be coffee or indigo to the french to the france or to the whole europe at that time see these were the important suppliers but what happens here but the europeans european people avoided to go here and to be workers in the in these plantations i mean europeans avoided to go to the caribbean islands as workers in these plantations why they refused to go here and to work in the plantations why europeans refused because because caribbean islands were too far from the europe this is one point and even say they created here it was very far and this is one point and second one they have to live they have to live their families and they have to go to work in these caribbean islands in these plantations so that's why europeans avoided and this created the shortage of laborers in these islands what happened as europeans avoided to go here and to work as plantation workers then what happened in these islands there was a shortage of laborers there was a shortage of workers in these islands and then so this was met by the then from where the french got the workers in these islands when europeans avoided this at that time there was a shortage of workers or laborers in this in these islands so because of this what happened french this shortage was met or fulfilled by the triangular slave trade by what by the triangular by what by the triangular slave trade by the triangular slave trade the shortage of laborers was met in these caribbean islands by the french this slave trade this triangular slave trade was started between europe africa and america between europe and then africa continent and both the americas and both the americas so in this way triangular slave trade was started and say actually as i told you in the beginning of this class the slave trade was actually started in the 17th century it began in 17th century then say french merchants sailed from the two important ports of france those are called bordeaux and bordeaux and nantes which are those bordeaux and nantes see those also i like to write here bordeaux bordeaux and nantes there are two important ports in france those are once again i would like to tell you that bordeaux see bordeaux and nantes Bordeaux and Nantes. These were the two ports. From these ports, French businessmen, French merchants, they sailed from these two ports to where? This is Europe, which means France. And in the France, these two ports. So from these two ports, French merchants went to Africa. Why they went to Africa to purchase slaves? For what purpose they went there? To purchase slaves. they bought slaves in africa from the local chieftains local chieftains local landlords they used to sell their workers their laborers in the market from those markets the merchants from uh, from europe from france they purchased the slaves from africa and they took them to both the south america continent and the north america continent in this way slave trade was started in this way i mean in a triangular way the slave trade was started and see these slaves were branded shackled and these slaves were packed tightly into the ships for the for almost 3 months of long voyages 
across the Atlantic Ocean to the Caribbean Sea. Branded, I mean, slaves were used to be branded. I mean, the people who were fit and fine to them more, more value, and those who are little bit unhealthy to them less value. This way, brand was there. Branding system was there among the slaves, and those slaves were branded shackled. Shackled means they were tightly chained, chained, and they were packed tightly into the ships, large ships, for the. For the three months of long voyages, crossing Atlantic Ocean and reaching the Caribbean islands, and the journey period was about three months. And then, in the Caribbean islands, slaves were sold to plantation owners. Then, what those French merchants did? Those French merchants they took those. They were from Africa and they brought to America. There, especially in Caribbean islands, the merchants from Europe they sold those slaves to whom to the plantation owners. To whom to the plantation owners. The slaves were exploited by the plantation owners. What plantation owners did? They purchased from the merchants those slaves. Those slaves and then. They exploited those slaves. Who plantation owners? Plantation owners exploited those slaves to get hard work from them, and this made possible to meet the growing demand of the commodities such as tobacco, sugar, coffee, or indigo in European markets. In European markets, there was a huge demand for this. The demand was growing. And this growing demand was met by the plantation owners by exploiting whom the slaves by taking hard work from them. So with this, what happened? With this, the two ports of France, Bordeaux and Nantes, Bordeaux and Nantes gained economic prosperity because of this triangular slave trade. Bordeaux and Nantes ports of France got. Again, economic prosperity at that time, and then now, in the 18th century, in the 18th century, there was a little criticism of slavery in France. I mean, in 18th century, what happened? Criticism was started. Criticism began against the slavery system in France. Against the slave system in France, what happened? Gulami we call slave system in. So against this criticism, claims were started. Opposition was started. National Assembly held long debates about the abolition of slavery. I mean, National Assembly held long debates whether to whether the rights of men should be extended to all the French subjects, including the including the colonies or not. About this, long debates were took place, but National Assembly did not pass any law. To abolish the slavery system, or to give right of men, rights of man to all the people, even those, even though, or even to the people who were living in the Caribbean islands, to them no right was granted. Why not granted by the National Assembly? Because National Assembly had a fear of businessmen whose income. Whose income, whose wealth depended on this triangular slave trade? Merchants were there, no, from France. Their income was their main source of income was the slave trade only. So about them, the National Assembly had a fear because of that. It did not make any law against the abolition of slavery. Finally, the Convention in 1794. Well, in 1794, finally, in 1794 Convention. I mean Jacobins. When Jacobin came to the rule, Jacobin, Jacobins came or Robespierre came to the rule at that time. National Assembly changed it into Convention. So Convention, finally Convention in 1194 brought the law, brought the law or legislated to free all the slaves from the French colonies. It brought the law. Which one? 
convention in 1794 brought the law and this law made this law said that all the slaves those who are living those who are living in french colonies must be freed must be freed they should not be forced by any plantation workers to work they are free now so this law was passed in 1794 by the convention but it was a short term measure it was a short term measure but freeing the slaves which means abolishing the slaves this remained for only 10 years why because see after 10 years what happened napoleon reintroduced slavery system in french colonies napoleon came to the rule after 10 years a military dictator of france then he reintroduced the slavery in slavery in french colonies plantation owners got right to and slave african negroes to meet their economic interest and slavery was finally abolished recently i mean finally the slavery was abolished in french colonies in 1848 finally when finally in 1848 slavery system was abolished in in french colonies so this is about the abolition of slavery in french colonies this is the fifth concept in this french revolution so tomorrow i mean in the next class we will learn about the last concept of the french revolution that is the revolution and everyday life how people lived how people carried their life during the revolution about this we will learn in the next class thank you jai hind